praising people will give you rest. That's true. Yes. You can if you don't raise them, you insecurity will kill you. Mm -hmm. That's why we have old preachers. Mm -hmm. They are still doing it. Mm -hmm. They are doing it every Sunday. Sometimes you find a pastor is sick. Morning glory, kila kitu. Sometimes you find a pastor is sick. But at a push too. At a push na ugonjwa wake. Because hakuna mtu wa kufanya kitu. Hakuinua mtu. You will not rest hata useme wacha nipumzike. Wacha niende ka vacation. Wacha niende ka vacation. Yes, hata uende ka vacation utulie. Hawezi. Na ni alawa. Na una burn out? Yes. Na utakufa haraka. Utakufa haraka. No, kitu ya muhimu ni kwamba mtu ajue you will die. Mm -hmm. Na ukitaka kujua hii enda uulize baba mkwe wa Moses anaitwa Jethro. Na alimwambia Musa. Aliona Musa, Musa unajua hakuja wahi kuwa na nabii kama Musa. Alikuwa na Mungu uso kwa uso. Lakini Jethro alimwambia, "My brother utakufa na utakufa." Utakufa. Hao watu huwawezi peke yako. Was more anointed. Mhm. Mm lakini ujinga ikiwa ndani yako you will die with that anointing. Yeah. Utakwenda naye. Yeah. So Jethro akaangalia vile anafanya, akaangalia akamwambia, "Eh hey, kijana, kuanzia asubuhi mpaka saa 10, si utakufa. Laini ya watu. Ah, wote. You will die na shida za watu, inua watu. Akaambiwa, inua watu, gawia hizi makazi. Yeah. Wacha zile ngumu chukua. Yeah. Na hii imekosekana kwa wengi. Hatutasema trust because uki raise mm. you will trust exactly why is not there trust kwa church kwa sababu hauja raise raise wanyonye mazuri yeah. yako sasa unu trust kwa sababu si mtoto yako mm -hmm. si wewe ulimuinua mm -hmm. na kweli utatuambia umegongwa na kadhaa yeah. na waliokugonga sio watoto wako ni kweli lakini ukiinua na Wa... uinvest kwake kutoka scratch utamwachilia utamwachilia afanye yeah. na mimi nasema kitu ya maana ni kwamba uki raise watu yes uta rest very important mm. very important if you raise people you will rest wow. if you don't do that i'm telling you how to rest mm -hmm. then kuna miaka itafika insecurity will kill you mm -hmm. utakuwa uwezi piga lunch hour mm -hmm. morning glory na evening Una service choka. na hauna mtu pale wa kufanya hiyo kuchokesha kwa sababu yeah, unaanza kuzeeka yeah, miaka inaanza kusonga sasa unapata ya kwamba ministry inafaa nini mm -hmm. inaisha oh, we have so God. many people walikufa na ministry inafaa nini nikakufa walienda Nika nao kwa kaburi bwana yeah, walienda nao you mm -hmm. see a preacher like bonke mm -hmm. akiwa hai mm -hmm. ali transfer mantle mm -hmm. kwa kolenda Mhm. Mm Akasema mimi nimezeeka. Mm. Siwezi nikafanya vile. Mimi siwezi nikaendelee na hii kitu. Akamwambia yote nimeacha kwako. Mm -hmm. Saa hii tunafanya na wewe hivi. Yeah. Ule kijana anachapa injili. Yeah. Ministry ya Bonke. Mm. Christ for all nation. Paka leo. Paka leo na mama. Yeah. Inaendelea. So, ni vizuri ku raise watu. Yes. Na si vizuri sana ku raise tu watu wa familia yenu. But pia ni vizuri ku raise watu wa familia yenu. Mm -hmm. But si vizuri tukiingia mm -hmm. church the whole family. Ndio ina run ministry. Utakuja waachiwa. <laughs> Utawaachiwa ministry. <laughs> kwa pesa ni, 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 ni ndugu yako. yako. Kwa chairman mm -hmm. ni, ni ndugu yako. Assistant kwa, pastor assistant ni bibi yako. Ni bibi yako. Sijui nani ni kazini yako. Sijui Uta nani ni brother in law. Utakuja wachiwa. Utakuja wachiwa hiyo kanisa. Yeah. Because watu watafika mahali watona hii ni kitu ya familia. Yeah. But it's the same watu waache familia. Yeah. If they are gifted. Wacha wakue. If your wife is gifted. Mm -hmm. Please. Mwe let her be a pastor. Yeah. But if he is not gifted, tu achage hii kuwekele yato na wekele ya kia. Kulazimisha. Hii. Tu achage kuwekele ya tu achage hiyo. Mimi wanasema mambo ya mungu. If your husband is a pastor, let him be a pastor. And if he is not a pastor, usimfanye pastor. Taftilia uone ni gani anaweza fanya kwa nyumba ya mungu. Afanya hiyo nye anaweza fanya. Anaweza fanya hata administration mzuri. Yes, anaweza fanya administration tumpatie. Kwa sababu gani? huduma baka kesho ikue. Yeah. Kuna mahali watu walifika wakainua mikono wakasema hii huduma ni ya ministry. Yeah. Na nielewa. So kama watu wa familia they are gifted to inue them na pia to inua watu wengine. To inue watu wengine. Yeah. Na hii uzuri ya kuinua hao watu tumesema ya kwanza wewe bishop wewe pastor utakuwa na time ya kurest. Yeah. Na nielewa. Na number two, mm -hmm. future ya ministry. Yes. Kwa sababu hutaishi kuwa mdogo. Utakuwa na matumaini. Yes. Tomorrow 
this ministry itakuwa pale. Yes, that's true. Imagine nimefika miaka umezeka kabisa you can do this thing. Imagine. Lakini bado inafanya nini? Inasonga, inasonga mbele. mbele. Yeah. Najua hivyo ndivyo inapaswa. Mm. Kwa sababu hii injili ni kupeana, mm. ni kupeana mm. tunachukua. So nafikiri kila mchungaji yeah. akilenga ku raise people who will inherit what you are doing. Hiyo mm. kitu I think utapata seriousness itaingia automatic. Wow. Lakini because they are not seeing tomorrow, they don't care about tomorrow. Mm. They are just there. Wafanye yeah. tu huduma. That's mm. why unapata most of them are careless. Yeah. But we have good pastor. We have pastors who are raised what? Yeah. We have pastor who are raised what kabisa. Mm. Na unapata ya kwamba they are now resting. Mm. Hata wanafurahia. If you are watching and you are a man or a woman of God, it is necessary to raise others. If you don't raise others, you will mm. die soon. If there is a, 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 a Moses, there should be a Joshua. If there is Paul, there should be a Timothy. Mm. If there is a Naomi, there should be a Ruth. Yes. Lazima kuwe Amen. na mutu Lazima kuwe na mutu